So, I've always been a fish guy. I love fish, right? So I bought this place, and I there's ponds in the backyard. There's three of these ponds already in here, you know? So uh, I thought originally, man, I'm gonna start raising some koi fish. This would be the coolest thing. How tranquil and peaceful, and you just love to watch them and all that stuff. Well, there's a lot more to that than I thought, you know? And it didn't quite work out, but we still got a bunch of cool ones around here, and I love going feeding them. And you wouldn't think that crazy black smoke diesel powered hummers and koi fish would work together but they formed this symbiotic deal that it just works out amazing One of the first thing we noticed about the new Bronco is some really cool grab handles on either side of the dash, the center console, and some neat pieces actually protruding at the front edge of the fender on either side of the grill. Although these are nice pieces, they were all plastic. And we thought, hey, wouldn't they be a lot better if they were machined out of a solid block of aluminum? So I called up my buddy Steve, we came up here, we're gonna 3D scan those parts and get a machined out of solid billet aluminum and on the Bronco in time for scene. this my whole life. You know, my grandfather started me staying on a milk crate cutting threads on a lathe in his garage and I got in there and I had a smell of that cutting metal and that oil and man I could just couldn't get enough of it. You know all my friends they want to grow up and they want to be baseball players and rock stars and stuff. And no man not me. I want to own a machine shop. You know that's the cool stuff right? Making stuff taking a raw piece of material and turning it into whatever you want you know. What, what, what else could there be better than that you know? So Mount Machine, we got two locations here in Belleville. We got one on Rossville Road, that's our 14,000 square foot CNC facility. We got all Haas machines in there, American made stuff, it's the only way to go. Uh, mills, lays, three, four, five axis stuff, we got the full gamut. And in the truck shop, we do a bunch of fabrication stuff and these crazy truck builds. And as you can see, we got a bunch of these Cummins powered Hummers around here. And this is something that really wakes the Hummer up. You put a Cummins in a Hummer, that thing comes to life. And people seen ours and want to start doing their stuff. And now this aftermarket line of Cummins parts that we're selling is just blowing up. We got people ordering the stuff from all over the world. It's really turned into a really cool deal. We're really proud of these parts, these mountain machine parts, and we're introducing new parts all the time. So keep an eye out on our website, and if you got a Hummer and you want to put a Cummins in it, you know where to come. So today, we're fortunate enough to have our good buddy, Jeremy Trevaro from Hexagon Manufacturing. These guys are like a leader in the handheld scanning industry, and so it was our natural first choice to call these guys in when we needed all of the math data for this brand new Bronco. So we're actually going to be machining some of these new prototype pieces that Kenny Hawk has come up with for the front of this Bronco in the shop today. The cool thing is, is that these are the first billet machine parts ever made for the new Bronco and they're going to be made right here at Mountain Machine in Belleville, Michigan. So Hexagon does everything from design and engineering concepts all the way down to final production and analysis and anywhere in between. So it's not just necessarily inspection of metrology, uh, production of metrology or parts. Uh, so the equipment we brought today uh, is the laser scanning equipment. Basically what we're doing is we're capturing the product in real time and then we're putting it into the software for data analysis and then reverse engineering or retrofitting. So the equipment's portable, there's no warm-up times required, uh, so basically it's just a matter of setting everything up and then turning it on. Uh, as you can see today, that the, uh, the scanner is hot swappable between the two products, so we can take it from one and move it into the other. The Leica scanner is tracked through the Leica tracker itself through power lock technology, so you can see as Scott's moving through the vehicle and scanning, uh, the tracker's always following the handheld positioner. The first pieces of the guys from Hexagon are going to scan are the interior grab handles. 
These grab handles have a really rugged, unique look to them, and they unbolt easily. We decided that instead of having these out of plastic, it would be really cool to see these out of solid aluminum. The next parts that we turned our attention to are these front sightline tie-down points on the front fenders of the Bronco. They're really cool pieces, but they're made out of plastic once again, and we'd like to see them made out of solid aluminum. So for Kenny, in the back of the vehicle, at the lower end of the tailgate up into the wheel flare, they did a uplift in the sheet metal. So the bumpers are designed flat, so we need to custom scan that uplift in the sheet metal so that they can fabricate a piece to fit in there uh, to look more natural with the curvature of the wheel well itself. So as we scan the data, the data is brought into the computer, and then the files that we output, Steve's going to take those into their CAD software, and they're going to design around it. So like a paper mache, they're going to take the scans, build around it, and then output their manufacturing product from there. So, you know, we live here in the Motor City, and you know, we, uh, we work with the equipment through Ford. Uh, so we've, we've actually seen the Bronco through the assembly plants and the suppliers that actually make the parts. So we've seen the insides and out of this vehicle. Uh, so it's a nice redesign of the original Bronco. So we're, we're happy to see some custom fabs go into it here locally as well. So, you know, it was exciting to be a part of that, scan, scan everything, and then see what Kenny does with it at the end of the day. You know, one of the best things about being in this industry is meeting a lot of people who are really passionate about what they do. My buddy Steve Ordner is no exception to that. He's really poured his heart and soul into Mountain Machine, and it shows. The machine shop is incredible. They turn out some amazing pieces. And the truck shop here, blown away. They absolutely do some incredible work, and they've been a big part of our builds over the years. So I'm super excited to be working with him. And now that all of our hard work is done and all the parts have been scanned, it's time to load up the vehicles, head up to Silver Lake Sand Dunes, and have a little fun. As you can tell, we're kind of sand dune people around here. We love the sand dunes. My favorite saying is, this place is like popping a pimple on your soul. You know, you come in the sand and the water and it's just amazing up there. I can't, I can't wait to get up here in this crazy truck with my buddy Kenny Hawk in the passenger side and rip through some dunes. Even though this Bronco build is still in its infancy stages, it did exceptionally well in the sand. We had an absolute blast playing with Steve and his buddies up at Silver Lake Sand Dunes, and we were even able to use the Bronco to help some of our fellow off-roaders get unstuck. Yeah! <laughs> think a Bronco pulling out a Jeep, that's kind of weird, huh?